what if we have someone who types in, for example, the word home? And currently, it redirects us to our initial route, which is our landing page. So what normally web apps do is that if they were to get an unknown route, it will shout out a simple error or a 404 not found error. So let's do that. Let's create a not underscore found page dot dot and create a stateless widget not found page. Let's import material. Okay, so same thing. We're just going to use scaffold. Another thing about scaffold is that it is a material widget. Therefore, we won't have any errors or UI errors. What I mean by UI errors is you will have those squiggly line if you don't put a material widget because you are importing a material dot dot file. So we have a simple not found page with our scaffold and center and our simple text that says page not found. Now, how are we going to redirect any unknown routes to this not found page. Well, we are going to use these parameters called unknown route. So what does unknown route means? Basically, anything that is not caught in these two simple routes, it will go to this unknown route. How do we redirect then to this unknown route? What we need to do is, we need to have a material page route that builds our not found page using these settings. So you can see here that it requires a route with our function route settings. So what is these settings? So inside Flutter documentation, on unknown route, the property, it is usually used for not found page that describes the route that wasn't found. So route settings have different arguments and you will have this name property. We are going to use this name property for us to get what routes that the user have entered inside our Flutter web app. Now if you were to go to the not found page, Let's create a constructor with our route name here. And let's pass in our route name inside this text that we have created. And at the same time, we just use the route name inside our text. Now let's see if this works. If I were to type in, for example, home, and I press enter, null page not found. We haven't actually passed in the settings name. So let's do that. So inside our own unknown route, let's have our route name with our settings dot name. So the name of the route will be returned inside. The name of the route will be passed inside our not found page. Let's save it. All right, let's test it out. If I were to put the word home there, home page not found. However, this backslash is pretty ugly. So we have to delete that backslash. So what we have done is we created this variable called past route where it uses this function called substring where it basically delete any letter that we want. So either you can have one argument or two arguments. So if you were to use one argument, you are just going to return the deleted part according to the number that you put in. So you have your start index and your end index. All right, let's see if it works. If I were to put in the word home again, there, home page not found. Great. Now we have a very functional routing in our web app.